In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a Let's Encrypt SSL Certificate Authority certificate on your server pilot controlled digital ocean droplet. Please bear in mind that this is for the free plan. If you are on the coach or business plan uh, with server pilot, you do not need to do the instructions in this video. They've already got it, uh, got a one click install for coach and business plan um, paid plans on server pilot. So go to your server pilot control panel and you can uh, install Let's Encrypt uh, via them. This is purely for the free plan where they haven't implemented the Let's Encrypt procedure. I'm going to go through it now and show you how to get it installed. So first let's log in to our DigitalOcean droplet that we want to uh, install a Let's Encrypt certificate. So I'm going to log into a droplet that I've got set up here. So now that I'm into the droplet, the first thing I'm going to want to do is pull down the Let's Encrypt script from GitHub. Um, and to do that, the commands we will need is this. And that's sudo git clone https forward slash forward slash github.com Let's Encrypt, Let's Encrypt. I'm going to put all of this in the video description below so you'll be able to cut and paste those uh, instructions from there. So that's downloaded. We've now got the Let's Encrypt uh, di directory in our droplet. So I'm just going to CD into that Let's Encrypt folder. Now first thing we need to do is stop the Nginx uh, service from running on our server before we can do anything else. So let's do that first. Um, to do that we can do sudo space service. Oh, by the way I should mention uh, you need to be logged in as root on your server. So if you have another username, you, you unless that username is, is, has got access to the sudo as um, a user list, uh, you need to be root to uh, run these commands. So sudo service and it's going to be nginx uh, dash sp space stop and that will stop our, our Nginx uh, service from running. Okay, so next we need to uh, generate a certificate via Let's Encrypt for the domain that we want the certificate for. So for that we need to type this command, so we're going to do sudo and we're going to run the Let's Encrypt uh, script here. Uh, should let's in crypt dash auto space cert only space dash dash standalone space dash t and now the name of the domain now in my case I've got a domain set up here called brandy and coke dj let's type that in Hope we have not made any mistakes there. And then space command D dash D and then the WW version of the same uh, domain. And hit enter. That will go off and do its thing. Now we need to see uh, that we've got a successful end to this script. Hopefully at the end of this we should uh, get a message saying the, the certificate was generated successfully. I'd always recommend you back up your droplet before you doing before you do any 
uh, of this just in case if you do something wrong you have not especially if you're working on a live uh, site or live droplet that you that you have other domains or services running on highly recommend you do a backup via DigitalOcean before you run this I will not be responsible for any disruption or any uh, damage to your DigitalOcean droplet in running these commands so that's my disclaimer out of the way a bit late I know but I thought you know well it's kind of obvious isn't it really so I'm just waiting for this this might take a little while so I'm gonna pause the video and we'll come back once we have a successful result at the end of this oh here's the next step uh, right we need to enter the email address uh, for any lost notices of recovery I'll enter mine And yes, we agree to terms. Okay, as you can see here at the bottom, it says congratulations. Your certificate and chain have been saved in this folder. And your, your certificate will expire on the 15th of July. So that's what, April, May, June, July. So you get a free month. Uh, certificate upon which you will then need to renew this now that's one of the caveats of doing it this way because you're doing the certificate manually there is no way at the moment you'd have to create a script yourself to automatically renew this certificate I will look into that and see if I can get some kind of script patched together that you can run via a cron job or something like that so it can do an auto renew of the certificate okay so we've got that done successfully so the next thing we want to do is restart our nginx service so if we go back to our previous commands we've got stop there if we change it to start and that will restart our service now if you have some kind of issue or you have a problem um, like if you get an error at this point which happened to me one of the time I tried this on on someone else's server gave me some sort of error I'm going to show you what you need to look at or the file you need to um, look at would be your vhost.d file and that is kept in this folder um, I'll just do an ls to it so that you know where it is uh, nginx <coughs> dash sp and it's going to be the vhosts d which is here so you need to vhost okay so next we need to log into server pilot and see what our app name is called so if you know within your server pilot login you have an app name okay so whatever that app name is whatever you've called your app what you need to do on the server now is I'm using nano as my text editor so that's what I'm going to use so it's sudo nano space and the app name in my case it's going to be brandy and DJ that's the app name dot SSL dot CONF which is an SSL configuration file now the file is obviously going to be empty so and what we need to do now is we are going to create a quick co configuration in this file I'm going to do it first and then I will talk you through I'm going to talk you through uh, what this configuration file is okay so now I've got the script uh, into my brandy and coke uh, dj.ssl.conf configuration as you can see here it's quite a lengthy script um, I will have this all in the documentation all you've got, got to remember is there'll be sections that will say your domain and your app 
So remember your app name in Server Pilot is different to your domain name. So for example, if your domain name is called xyz.com and you've called the app name xyz, you've got to remember the differences between the two. So you've got here, for example, server name is your domain name. And in these sections where it will say um, your app name, you make sure you only have the app, like here, for example. There's no .com on the end. It's just the app name. That will all be self-explanatory in the information below this video. So anyway, this is the SSL comp file that we need to save. So I'm now going to come out of Nano and save that. So to, to exit Nano, you can do Control X and it will ask you to um, hit Y for yes to save this. So that has now saved that file for us. And just to make sure we have saved it, we can make sure that that, site, that file has been saved by entering the command and making sure that we have that file saved. I'm just... Okay, so I have made a little bit of a mistake here, a little error. As I'm doing this live, I've not this is the first time I'm running this and I'm going through all the steps. Now I was in my uh, the, in the Lex Encrypt folder when I created the file. Now that file that I've just created, the SSL comp file, that file needs to be in a particular folder. So I'm going to move that over now. As you can see it's here in my... I don't know why my cursor doesn't show up here. You can see that's the file here which is in the Let's Encrypt folder. Now we need to move that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it by typing mv the the file itself oops it's not letting me oh that's great and I've also spelt it wrong too so let me just make amend these mistakes so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to copy it because it should have been brandy I called it bar and so let me just make that should be brandy and coke dj dot ssl dot cof and trust me to choose a domain name that's so awkward um, right so now I've got the correct domain name now I need to move that I'm going to move this into where it should have been now this is where you should have cd'd into and created the file Okay, so we're now going to move that file to this folder, which is forward slash etc forward slash nginx dash sp forward slash vhosts dot d. Okay, forward slash. So that's where we want to move that file to. So if we cd into that file folder now uh, we should now see that that file is now there so now you can see we've got our brandy and coke dj dot ssl dot conf and prior to that we've also got the brandy and coke dj dot conf file and it's um, a daemon file running there okay so now that we've got that Next we need to do is we've filled out our SSL configuration. We've done that. So the next thing we want to do is restart Nginx so that it can pick up this comp file and run the services. So let's go back through our commands and we'll pick up the Nginx command here and we'll just go restart. and hopefully Nginx has now restarted and that hopefully should be it so now if we type in uh, the domain actually I'm going to show you a, bra uh, a really good little um, app uh, app sorry a website that you can do SSL server tests from so let me bring that up so if we go to here which is ssllabs.com forward slash SSL tests I'll put all of this in the description um, from here we can type in our host name brandy and coke dj dot com 
and hopefully this will tell us whether we have a cell or not as you can see it's generating a report for us it's looking at the uh, the common names, alternative names, it's showing us here you can see it's got the Let's Encrypt Authority here Trusted, yes It's taking a little while Does take a little while to run. Three hundred fifteen seconds to go, but from the looks, as you can see, it's actually done what it's supposed to do. While we're waiting for that, I suppose what we can do is just um, we've got the website here. Let's just open this full screen. And so, if I put the HTTPS in front of this, we shouldn't get any errors. And there you have it. We've got our trusty green padlock so you can see now that we now have HTTPS installed for this domain on our digital ocean uh, server pilot controlled VPS I hope that's of great help to you guys and you can see how you can install uh, a let's encrypt certificate on a free server pilot uh, install now bear in mind that certificate is valid for three months as you can see here's the SSL labs report it's come back giving us an A, a star rating certificates installed everything's good uh, hopefully I'll do a follow-up video to this showing you how we can create a cron job of some sort to renew that certificate once it expires you will get an email if you remember we had to type in our email address um, giving you notice uh, forewarning of that expiry so you will have a heads up on when you need to renew your certificates. That's it for this video guys, I hope this is of use. Uh, I hope to see you again soon.